Hey y'all, I hope you're watching this video on Thursday, March 19th or Friday, March 20th. But if not, those are the topics we're gonna to be talking about today. So today, what you're gonna be covering in your NC Coach Workbook is topics related to arguments and author's point of view. So you should flip to page 148. That's where your work starts for today on Thursday. Basically, the thing you really need to remember to figure out these questions and to understand what we're going over here is that claim means opinion. The author's claim is the author's opinion. So for example, if I claim that school's pretty boring without you guys, that's my opinion. But typically it might be a little more subtle and you have to read between the lines a little bit more to figure out what is the author's opinion. So today what you're gonna do, these first pages, 148 and 149, give you some information on how to figure out an author's argument. On the bottom of page 148, you get an example where it shows you this is how I look to figure out the author's opinion. A helpful tip that I could give you in terms of how to figure out the author's opinion, you should look for the things that they make that aren't fact statements. If it's not a fact statement, then that tells you they're giving you some information. Another thing to look for is a rhetorical question. A rhetorical question is a question where the author doesn't actually answer it, they leave you a question to think about. So for example, at the bottom of page 148, the author's claim is, watching too much television is harmful for children. And he makes this rhetorical question. Many kids like cheesy snacks. Who would possibly know why? Who would possibly know why is not a question that you answer or that the author answers. Instead, it's a rhetorical question that's meant to put an idea in your head, but you know what the answer should be. So go to the bottom of this page and it gives you a lot of info about how to find claim and point of view. So as you read these, what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the passage and then you're going to answer the questions. Something helpful that you should be doing is you should be answering the questions in the reading guide on the side. So here's the page 150. It shows you genetically engineered foods, not so fun. And then right here on the side, you have a reading guide where it gives you questions to answer that are gonna help you with reading. Each of these passages is gonna come with some multiple choice questions. And for these multiple choice questions, what I want you to use is all the helpful tips we've been using when talking about multiple choice questions. So for example, on page 156, page 156, you're answering questions related to the article, one term presidents only please. Question number one, it says, what is the most likely reason the author wrote this passage? What I notice is that each of these starts with the author beliefs. And so I'm gonna cross that out. I'm crossing it out on each of those questions because that helps me remember, I need to focus on what's different about each of the multiple choice answers, not on what's the same. So that's the big thing that I'm thinking about here. The other thing that's gonna be really helpful for these is before you flip the page, and you start going over, oh, here's my answer choices, what you should do is figure out what the author's claim is yourself. Figure out what the author's point of view is yourself. Try and think, okay, this is the author's opinion on the topic that they're talking about. And then when you go to the answers, then you can try and plug what you were thinking into the answer choices that you see on the paper. That's gonna be a good strategy for EOGs like we talked about several times. So it's also a good strategy for answering these questions because it tests whether you're really understanding the articles. So again, what you're doing today, Thursday, is pages 148 to 153. And then on Friday, what you're gonna be doing is 154 until 161. So again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. And the other good thing about these videos, you can pause and go back to make sure that you get all the information you need in order. All right, that's it guys today. Thanks so much.